helped you guys to get some of those takeaways? Yeah, um, I think whenever you put something right in the quarterback's face, you know, it's a little bit different than sending something off the edge, something he may not be conscious of because it affects his decision making. Um, yeah, so the, the A-gap stuff we do works well. You know, it's something that's a staple of what Coach Ward does. And, uh, yeah, it works well for us. What about just the sweep transition Washington State? What do you feel like uh, they do well with uh, with Ward back there? Uh, yeah, Cam, he's, he's a really good quarterback. You know, he's just smart. Uh, they have a lot of familiarity with our defense because it's basically the same thing that they run. Um, you know, he's a guy who is slippery, who can get out the pocket and make those plays. But ultimately, he wants to get his feet set and throw the ball. Um, so he poses a great threat really in both areas. Uh, they have such a scrappy team. You know, they just play really, really hard. They block. Uh, their running backs are physical guys. They're just they're a good football team, you know, like we saw last year when we played them. Uh, so ultimately, it's about executing the plan, the call that Coach calls, and you know, winning your one on one and doing the same thing you did against the Bucks. They kind of lack a little bit of rushing attack, like Washington this past week. So how do you guys kind of plan to call that experience and kind of maybe not obviously use the same game plan, but have a little bit of the same approach or think yeah. of it the same way? I mean, for me. I don't really think of it that way. A few years ago, we played them on homecoming, and they had like no run game at all. Yeah. And they came out here and rushed them off for like 300 yards. So <laughs> you gotta you gotta play what you gotta play what they run that day. Um, ultimately, yeah, you know their run game hasn't been the strength of their team. But I played their running back at, uh, last year. He's an incredibly capable back. Um, their O line is capable. So uh, if they see something that they can gas us in, they will. Uh, so we just gotta be styled in the run. Guys like Deshaun and you know, BJ and those guys inside who always do stop the run will. Um, and then you know we gotta hold up in coverage as well. Those past experiences from last season, even the year before that, yeah. how are you guys kind of calling on those, especially for someone like yourself who's been here for that long? Yeah, I mean, just inspect, expect the unexpected. You know what I'm saying? You really never know what a guy's going to give you. Um, I'm a big film study person, um, so I try to, you know, have a good idea of what I go out there and get. But the first drive, you're just playing what they give you to kind of learn the tips and tendencies for the day. Uh, so, yeah, man, you know, you call on past experience, kind of just to expect the unexpected, but you really never know. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Jordan, uh, you're kind of touching on Washington State already, but just give me kind of a reflection of Washington really quick and what that experience was like. And yeah. um, especially just coming back to Tempe, you know, again, kind of the saying of the week has been we're right there, yeah. right there. Yeah, yeah. Um, it seems like every week we've been right there, so that kind of sucks. But, you know, ultimately we're going to play home, you know what I'm saying? We get the crowd back, you know what I'm saying, for us on defense. Just try to create chaos, you know, play as good a football as we can. And um, UW was an awesome experience. It was, it was a good atmosphere, you know, to perform like that in front of a crowd like that. Is amazing. But ultimately, we're super excited to come back home and put on the show for What does coming home mean for this week and, and just kind of, you know, this being a very <laughs> capable week for you guys to finally get over the hump? I've been talking to some of your teammates that this could very well be the week that you guys finally get over it and then kind of going into big games at Utah, UCLA, Oregon, U of A, and stuff like that. What could this mean week mean to you guys? Oh, this week is everything because it's the week that's right now. Um, yeah, man, you know, just – Fans have been awesome. You know, they've been so supportive. And I feel like they deserve that. We've been working super hard. We deserve that. Um, so, yeah, it's about coming back and competing, playing as hard as we can on defense, uh, being stout, putting on the show, being physical. And then uh, I think that the offense, man, is it's bound to happen. They're bound to explode. You know, you know the guys that they have on that side of the ball. They just need to put it together. They will. Um, we're going to keep supporting them. They'll keep supporting us. We will play ball. What is what have you guys kind of felt kind of from the I mean you guys don't want too much from the outside kind of you know inflict you guys what have you guys kind of felt from the community from a standpoint where it's like you know I would say that they even re kind of recognize that you guys are right there and you guys yeah. just need to kind of just put the last little things together yeah the community has been awesome you know what I'm saying at every game we've had it's been oh, yeah. an amazing atmosphere you know even with us not producing like how we should be um, the community has been awesome yeah. you know they always show up and show out for us and um, yeah we own we do we yeah, do own sure. win and we owe ourselves a win, and we're super excited yeah, to kind of be able to have that opportunity to do that, especially on, you know, homecoming. Jake kind of asked you about Cameron Ward, but, you know, what does he do so well that, you know, I talked to Keith Abney earlier, and he was like, he's he's no, he's no, you know, slump. You know, he's yeah. he's just right there, you know, with Penix or with Williams and yeah, stuff like yeah, that. So, absolutely. you know, what, what are the, some of the things that you guys kind of respect about him? I mean, he's a head coach in the backfield. You know what I'm saying? He gets out there. If you watch their games, he's calling the plays. Uh, from behind center, so um, with a guy like him, man, you can't you can't line up in what you're gonna play. You know what I'm saying? If you are gonna line up in what you gotta play, you gotta mix it in. Uh, you can't let him see what you're doing, especially when he's so familiar with our defense because Coach Ward was there last year. Um, he can make any throw. He's a really big dude. He can run. Uh, he's a football player. He's a football player, and he deserves every ounce of respect that we've given those other guys, and he's getting it. Um, and we just can't wait to compete with him. There's been a lot of you know. Uh, 
new guys that have come into ASU, but you've been one of the ones to stick around. And, you know, you kind of mentioned that they were here a couple years ago. And, you know, I think the offense had like three straight turnovers. It was kind of a rough game. It was a day game. Um, you know, for you, do you kind of take that somewhat personal and say, hey, last time they were here, it was it was a pretty rough yeah, showing. Yeah, yeah, but that was Halloween, man. They just my Halloween up. But uh, it, was, it was awesome, uh, you know what I'm saying, kind of for me to have those experiences you know then it sucked but now you know just knowing that to expect the unexpected you know anything can happen you gotta be ready for sudden change situations you gotta be ready for offense to come out and do something that you're not prepared for them to do because up to that point that year they were still you know mike Leach air raid you know what i'm saying and and then they kind of switched it up and started running the ball when they played us uh, whenever the interim head coach had took over so Expect the unexpected, you know, be ready to play ball. Don't ever take anybody lightly, which we won't. We're not in the situation of, you know, predicament too, and we're just ready to compete, compete with them. What are the conversations like amongst the defensive backs that you guys, you know, held Roma Odunze under 100 yards? You know, you really limited that Husky offense, and now you guys, you know, have the right tools to really, you know, limit a not maybe as good Washington State offense, but, you know, you, but very capable of yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, we give everybody the same amount of respect. You know, obviously Odunze was a good receiver, but we prepared for Southern Utah the same way we prepared for him. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's the same. Uh, so really this week, man, it's about giving these guys the respect they deserve. They're on scholarship as well. Uh, go out there, compete with them, you know, execute the game plan, and ultimately try to perform how we did last time and come out with a win.